hey guys, I think it's really important to realize that for many people, including probably you and me, perspective, our perspective is our reality. It's not just, hey, you know, like the way I see things is one way that we see reality, but you know, the way I see something, the way I believe something, it changes the way that I see the world. And because of that, my reality is shaped by the things that I see and the things that I think that I know. Whenever we think about Job, a lot of times we, we look at it, and if you think about it from his perspective, it's not like he did something wrong in the beginning of the story, right? Um, he, he, from his perspective, it shaped how he saw the situation. And then if you look at his friends, the way that his friends responded well, the, is the way that they know God. Well, God punishes those that, you know, like have done something against him. So therefore, you know, like we, he obviously, you know, has something that you've done, you know, that has offended God. So these perspectives shape our reality. And the cool thing about the story of Job is that all of a sudden, you know, one guy, one guy starts speaking and he doesn't speak from his own perspective, but he humbles himself and he starts to speak from God's perspective. And then God speaks through the storm that he creates through the words that he, he says. So, and then all of a sudden Job is like, Oh God, forgive me. I spoke what I didn't know. I, I'd heard of you, but now my, I see you, I know who you are. So obviously that doesn't give us a license, you know, like we have this idea that truth can be changed or truth can be, you know, like is, is different from person to person. It's not true. There is an ultimate truth and it is the perspective and it is the opinion of God. But while we are seeking out God's truth and the things that God believes and the God, think and things that God knows and puts forth in his reality, as we're doing that, a lot of times we just insert our own beliefs in there. So ultimately, we have to humble ourselves and we have to say, you know, in Corinthians it says that I know in part, I see in part, but when perfection comes, then we'll be able to see it all. We'll be able to know it. And so that being said, I'm going to humble myself and I'm going to say, God, I might not know what's going on in this situation. I might not understand it or I know, might not understand why this person is acting this way towards me. But you know what? I'm going to praise you anyway because you know. And so, you know, like that, that can, that humbling of us and realizing that our perspective is not the only perspective. We are the, you know, just part of this reality that's going to shape the way that we treat other people and the way that we love other people. Thanks for taking a minute.